What is up guys, Super Bad Ninja here and welcome to another video. And in this video I'll be showing you guys how to make a Minecraft server animated banner for advertisement websites for Minecraft servers such as I think it's called minecraftservers.org or something like that. And the banner that we're going to be creating today is not going to be a simple one necessarily. It's it's not going to look simple. Uh is it this is n nor is this going to be like a straightforward tutorial because of how complicated it's gonna look how you know it, it's it, to me it's simple to do but you know for people watching it are gonna be like okay how did this guy do it uh, it's gonna have a lot of trial and error so I might skip parts and just say okay well I'm gonna fix this I'm gonna figure out how to do this because that's pro probably what you're gonna have to do if you do something and it messes up the whole thing and you don't know how to fix it you, you have to figure it out um, so I mean I had to do that a lot and it takes a long time to make some some of these. The one I just created, uh, actually, I'll show you guys. I made it in around five minutes, so it's I made a template kind of thing. So it starts out with server name, and uh, I just made it a second intervals, so it's kind of slow. But the whole thing was that particles come in and it flips, flips, and then flips, and that's the whole thing. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So I guess let's get started. So you want to open up a new project, of course, if it wants me to. And then go to composition and start a new composition. Now, uh, it should have a preset for web banner. Uh, most, I, I, I believe most are there. Uh, you don't want it to set it as 30 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and set it as more like um, 10 seconds just to be safe. I mean, it's not going to be 10 seconds long, of course, but I'm just going to do that for now. Um, then to start out you're going to want to make your background now you if you wanted to you can actually just have made the background over there but i like using a solid color and just go to right click here or go to layer and go to new and then solid and pick your thing so i'm gonna go ahead and pick i'm gonna try to recreate the one i just made and uh it can be any color really i'm gonna go ahead with blue so i want to have this as a darker royal blue color and then we're just going to save that and then it's going to be like that next i'm going to create a new solid another new solid which is going to be lighter so i'm just going to drag this down and this is going to be the color for the particles so the the cyan i think that's how you pronounce it that color is going to be the particles and to get this particles you want to go to effects and presets and hopefully this loads it might take a little bit but um you want to go to effects and presets and type in CC who wants to type for me CC uh, particle world and you just want to simply drag it now at first it's not gonna look like anything it looks actually like that so to change that you want to go to particle and go to particle type and you want to change that so I'm gonna go ahead and actually change it to uh, lens corvex convex I mean or concave it, it really matters on your your preference but um I'm gonna do let's convex I I don't see a difference uh, some other people might now this is that's how it's gonna look but now you're noticing oh it's just pretty much centered you're gonna want to uh, change up the axis of, like you know radius and stuff so you want to go to producer and change the Z not the Z sorry you don't want to change the Z you want to change the Y for later so maybe change that to like a two and then X to expand it out. And so now it's going to be like this, but then you're like, okay, still the things look kind of too big. And that's once again, that's totally your preference, but um, I'm going to go ahead and change the birth weight rate or birth size, sorry. And death size. And we're going to change that to zero, zero point one. Let's try that. Yeah. Zero point one. And then we're going to change this to zero point one as well. Now it's looking kind of small, so I'm gonna bring it up to maybe like 1.5. Now 1.5, I mean 0.15, and then 0.15. Now that, god dang it. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can make birth size bigger or smaller. You can make it smaller, and then when it, you know, it's done, it'll grow bigger. Uh, let's go 170 maybe. And this is what I mean, like trial and error. You're, you're gonna have to keep trying with stuff like this. So let's just change this to 0 0.17. And I like that. So 
this is how it's gonna look right uh, longevity just boost that up and you can change the birth rate to make it more so if you wanted to like right here you see that it's you don't really see much and you can turn out the birth rate to make it more so it's totally your preference once again and you can change the max opacity to opacity to 100 to make it uh, better seen so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna change the birth rate to round 15 let's go 15 for now let's see how that actually affects it looks like a lot so I'm gonna turn it down to maybe 12.5 and we'll fix that you can always fix that and um, next what you want to do is start up a new text or you can actually set up a camera right now so we're gonna actually do the camera part because we're gonna want it to rotate on an orbital axis and stuff like that so we're gonna do the camera make sure it's on top and then we're gonna make another new object and it's gonna be null object now I, I like to do this you don't necessarily have to but I like to and uh, you just want to change the name to camera one control or whatever you want and then you want to parent it so you can grab this and then drag it over or just go right here and parent it with camera one to camera one control so now I'm gonna be controlling camera one through camera one control the null object next we want to uh, set up the text so I'm just gonna simply uh, put some text in here and let's actually just server name and you can change the stuff over here or whatever you or I don't know where the default is this is where I put it it might have been default but uh you just want to change that and just move it to more of the middle change this size maybe a little more of the middle right and then we're gonna go ahead and duplicate it by pressing control D and we're gonna do that three times and we're gonna go ahead and change the names real quick so server name 4 is gonna be text 4 and then you just want to put it somewhere uh, I'm, I'm gonna put it over here and then server text 3 let's change that to text 3 and then let's move that over to about well, right here. You, you try to remember where they are. So we know four, three, and then we're gonna put uh, two and one there. And this one, if it wants to work. Text two. And just move that somewhere. And then we're gonna do actually one more because I forgot to make the number one. So this is gonna be text one. So now, it's all about the orbiting now to do that you want to make the text layers uh, 3d so you want to under this box is 3d layers it allows the 3d uh, the layer to be uh, made into three dimensions so you just want to mark all that all of them and then make sure you mark camera one control so now we go to over here and we check out orbital camera tool you see that it's like this and in the uh, probably later in the tutorial, we're gonna have to make the particles, the particle radius bigger to uh, fit better. But let's get started. So we want to start it out with going to camera one control and pressing P and Shift R to add position and rotation. Then we're gonna start out with uh, we're gonna keep server name just there. I'm not gonna do any transition, and you can do a transition in if you want, and you can. I'll, uh, with I'm just gonna make a transition to text 2 and you can apply that just to bring it into uh, server whatever your server name to frame so we're gonna go to there and we're gonna actually press R on this and make it a rotation so I'm sorry we want text 1 so let's go to rotation and we're gonna go ahead and actually move it to a 90 degree angle and uh, the Y to a 90 degree angle so we're gonna do 90 negative 90 and this should work I think actually, actually let's actually check real quick okay no we want it actually set to 90 alright so 
there we go it's set to 90 now and we're gonna want it you don't have to keyframe it or anything but you want to go up here and you want to keyframe the y-axis and orientation and position and actually you don't even need the y action y axis i believe but um you want to start it out let's actually unkeyframe these real quick and move to let's say a second in and we're gonna go ahead and actually no a half a second in about a half a second and we're gonna keyframe position and orientation and then we're gonna go into another uh, half second and then we're gonna turn it now so to turn it you just want to simply just somehow get this text one to the middle that's it's that simple so you just you can literally just mess around with a bunch of stuff and there we go so you want to turn it this way move it up move it back a little maybe and move it forward now you see that it's like that so that's when you're going to want to go into your this and you want to you want to uh bring up the radius so let's find which one controls it so there you go and you can turn up the birth rate as well if you need to so i'm going to turn it to actually 15 around 15. and so now what we got is that now you see that you saw text four now you can either keep that in to just add like a special kind of thing or you can go in and so we don't we don't want text four to be in there right so we're gonna go ahead and go to text four and move it forward just it doesn't need to be in frame none of four and three don't really need to be in frame right now you can fix that later and so we got it turned to text one and actually let's fix that So let's just move it into the middle and then fix that. So there you go. You got the first one. So it goes, flips out. And when it actually lands right there, you can, I, I would recommend just pulling this whole thing back, server name, and just having it cancel it out. You know, it's gone. And then you're gonna wanna have it stay there or if you want like something quick, you can just move it up a few frames so I'm actually gonna let's render it out real quick and move this so it restarts. So this is how fast it's gonna go. Now, if you want it like that, from server name to text one, you can keep it the same, or you can actually just make it smaller. So we're actually gonna do that. So uh, let's uh, let's put it about right here, and we're gonna keyframe it again. To make it stay to make sure it stays right there and then we're gonna move forward a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and turn it again so you just want to once again find a way to get to text two and you can even hide these if you want to make sure you're finding the right ones the text two is up there so you want to just find a way to get it so move it down center it and then you know, orientation try to get the right orientation so it's like that move in move into the middle and there you go so now it's gonna be like this goes from server name to text one and then waits a couple frames and then trans goes to goes to text two so let's actually just move this back and render it out Let's see how it looks. Now that's actually a little weird. So if you if it ha if it has something like that, you can just move the frame. So we're actually gonna move this frame forward and see how that looks. There we go. So now it's actually gonna look like it was too quick before. And you just wanna do that quickly maybe, or even if you wanted to, you can make it around the same size to make it the same so it'll be like yeah so there you go and then we're gonna go ahead and do three and so let's move three into this and where's three so three is right here so we're gonna once again go up a couple frames so exactly this is one two three frames up 
So we're going to go up three frames, one, two, three. And then we're going to keyframe it, of course. And then we're going to go up, just count the frames. You can go to one keyframe and then go over here and count the actual frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just go right here and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Move that forward and then this is where we're going to start turning it once again so just that oh that's text one let's actually hide that where's text three text three is somewhere gotta find it now oh it's hidden that's why all right so we want to get it over there so text two is right there so let's move it see that's no fun right there see how it just you just move it into frame so then that's where you actually want to go to there and mess with the y rotation to make it negative 90 and so then you can actually rotate it and actually make it look good so when you rotate it if I can find the right thing it's gonna be like that and you just want to simply set it up the correct way and then Make sure it's right and move it in center now you're, you'll notice that that's probably here let's check it out real quick so it's gonna be like this now you can either just take actually you can just just take two out just move it right there so now if we render it it's gonna be like this it's gonna be like this And you see that right there. So that's when we're gonna wanna make sure text three is not in the picture yet. Let's try that out again. There you go. And let's do text four. Uh, actually, I don't feel a need to do text four. I think you guys pretty much get it. Uh, so it's very simple and you can once again change it to the way you want. So just like that and you just you can if I wanted to I can move it over here and or sorry you want to move it over here first but then you want to fix it up um, so yeah guys that's pretty much all for this tutorial hopefully you guys actually understood it, it was pretty long and I, I feel like I kind of messed it up a little but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe for more content see you guys later peace